So we all love that strike where we feel it really crunch the golf ball, we hit ball and then ground, and we can see we take that lovely little divot, but most importantly, we take that divot after the golf ball. Right, so we saw that first strike there, exactly what we're looking for, ball first and then turf, compressing the iron shot, flushing your irons, whatever you want to call it. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how perhaps controlling the club face incorrectly makes it virtually impossible for you to do that. And most importantly, how are you going to get better with this to achieve ball first and then turf? Right then guys, so I've done a lot of videos about this in the past and I thought today was a great opportunity to get out on the grass because certainly on the driving range, a lot of the feedback I get from golfers is that they struggle sometimes to tell where they're getting the lowest point of the golf swing. And we know that if we're gonna hit good golf shots, particularly off the floor, we would like the lowest point of your swing to be after the golf ball. And most golfers know that from a good setup position, ideally what they'd like to see by impact is much more weight on that left side, that club leaning forward, de-loft in the club, and that helps move that low point forward. But just because golfers know that, a lot of golfers really, really struggle, and when they swing, we see much more of this kind of impact position, hitting behind, maybe even missing the ground and topping the ball altogether. Now, just because you know that you want to get into that position, what if the way you control the club face during your golf swing makes it virtually impossible to get into that nice, powerful impact position? So what I see with a lot of golfers is that from a pretty decent setup, as they swing back, as they get back to waist height, that club is looking straight up, even a little bit that way. At the top of the swing, the club's very open, and on the way down, that club face is still very open. Now, that, what that creates as an issue is if the club face is here, and we get into that position, the club face is wide open, or we could even shank the ball, which nobody wants to do. So, what I'm gonna work on is try to help you learn how to control that club face because from that open position the only way you can square the club face up is to hang back release the club early and then it's really pot look how good your ball striking is so what we're going to work on is in the backswing instead of letting the club feel like it rotates we're going to keep the club looking more down towards the golf ball and that leading edge of the club is going to be more similar to my spine angle. So we're gonna get back to there, to the top, and feel that it's still in that nice strong position. And then from there, you can allow your weight to shift. And it's amazing how many guys actually do that weight shift much better and get that shaft lean when they control the club face better. Now this is also something a lot of the top players in the world do. Maybe not have to work on it too much because they already do that, but what I like guys to do is work on maybe little half swings, feeling that you're there, and actually then to hit a few shots with that little half swing. And if you're on the grass, see where that divot is. So I've lined my ball up with the start of the divot, halfway back. And even though I only brushed the turf there, that was certainly after. So all you're looking to do is kind of do a few more of those swings and then gradually build that up into the full swing. And we see in our practice swing there, the divot's much further after. And again, much, much further after. Then all we've literally got to do is take that into the golf ball, feel that club face looks down to the ball a little bit more. And on the way down, feel that the club face is still looking down towards the ball. And then hopefully we're gonna see that nice divot after the golf ball, get a really good strike, and hit the ball first and then the turf. Now even though I slipped a little bit with my back foot there, we can see that divot after the golf ball. It's a great shot, it's a great strike, straight into the wind out here, so it's not gone too far. But if you can control that club face, it's really, really gonna help you hit ball and then turf first 
every time. So you can see there guys, hopefully something nice and simple, just a better way of controlling that club face to allow your body to get into the position of impact that you know you want to be in and make it easier for it to strike, particularly your irons better, but even your fairway woods off the floor. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's content. If you have, like it and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you have enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, click the button below, ring the notification bell and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.